Good morning, Calvary. This is Pastor Mitch with your word for the day. Today's passage comes from Mark chapter 14, verses 43 through 50. And starting off in verse 43, it reads, And immediately while he, speaking about Jesus, was still speaking, Judas came, who was one of the twelve, and with him a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize him and lead him away under guard. And when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. And they laid hands on him and seized him. But one of those who stood by, he drew his sword and struck the servants of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus said to them, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me, but let the scriptures be fulfilled. And they all left him in flood. I want you guys to picture this for just a moment. See, one of Jesus' closest friends, a man considered one of the twelve, one who was close to Jesus, a man who had seen him raise the dead and walk on water, calm a storm and heal the sick, who would seen him cast out demons and teach the word of God with power, comes up to Jesus, and he greets him as a friend, as if everything is okay between them, when in fact nothing could be further from the truth. See, I think Judas had been putting on a show for far too long, and he was now burnt out on following Jesus. See, if he ever loved Jesus to begin with, he didn't anymore, and he was now just going through the motions. See, outwardly, he had looked like a devoted disciple, but inwardly, His heart had remained unchanged. And Judas kissed Jesus, but he only loved himself. So my question is, what about you? How many times have you kissed Jesus through some sort of outward display of religion while your heart remains unchanged by his grace? How many times have you stood in church to sing the songs or to say a prayer without actually meaning a word of it? How many times have you and your spouse, have you fought on the way to church, but then you put on your smiles as you walk through the doors, and yet you still refuse to let God's word move you to forgiveness and grace? See, God sees through our religious games. He knows when we're honoring him with our lips while our hearts are still far from him. So Calvary, today my challenge to you is this. To not see today's word of the day as simply a rebuke, but to see it as a chance to change, a chance to examine your own relationship with Jesus and to reach out if you need help growing in it. Reach out to your Christian friends. Reach out to your life group leader or to one of our pastors. If you have doubts or you're simply tired of of faking it, then just let us know. You see, God is bigger than your doubts. He's not scared of your doubts. He's bigger than your past And he has called us together as a church to walk through this life together. I just want to encourage you guys to always lean into Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. We will see you tomorrow.